Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video I want to explain to you guys what I think is the best profession to start off with in Stardew Valley. So, in Stardew Valley there are five different professions you can do, and pretty much every player is going to do all of them to some extent. They are farming, which is the really obvious one for the game because it's a game that revolves around it. Foraging, which is more about going outside of the farm, picking up stuff off the ground like uh, seeds, acorns, flowers, uh, also involves chopping down trees which can be sold for wood though not very profitably mining so there is a mine in the game and if you go in there and you descend a few levels you're actually able to collect things like copper or iron or much later on and eventually gold or things like diamonds and some of those items can be quite valuable if you can actually get to them there's also fishing um, in order to start fishing, you have to go down to the dock, and there's an NPC called Willy who will give you a fishing rod. That's on about day two or three of the game, so it's really easy to start off with fishing. And then combat. It's kind of a profession in the sense that you can make money on it, it's a skill you can level up, and you will have to do combat if you go into the mine, because that's where most of the monsters are at. So the question between these five professions is which one is going to be most profitable for you as a new player without giving you a major headache? Well, to cut mining and combat out of the equation, uh, mining the first few levels can be pretty easy, but not very profitable at all. Copper ore does not sell for particularly very much money at all. And in fact, what you probably want to do with most of the ore you would get from mining is to instead use it to turn into bars and then upgrade your equipment. That would be things like the watering can, the pickaxe itself, and a axe so that you can do other tasks more effectively in the game rather than using mining as your main source of income then there is foraging so foraging is actually recommended by the game itself it'll give you a little note somewhere that says if you forge in the first few days it can be a good way to get some initial money and that's true uh, one of the good places to go foraging is down by the beach actually where you can sell some of the shells that appear there for several hundred gold uh, the problem is uh, they are limited you can only make so much money from it because only so many items are going to spawn but forging initially is a decent way to make some money. Now, combat goes directly with mining. And the problem with combat is that the money you actually get from slaying enemies is very, very little. Uh, slime gel and bat wings, which are really common early on, don't really sell for much money at all. It's also dangerous. So if you go too far into the mines, what will happen is that uh, the monsters can actually defeat your character. You don't die permanently in the game, but what you will do is lose a lot of money, a lot of resources, and basically kill your entire productivity for the day because after that you end up completely drained of energy. So mining and combat can be really frustrating early on, especially when you're not super accustomed to the game. Now, by far and away, in the long run, farming is the best way to make money in the game. However, to farm, you need to get seeds, which initially you have a few, and you can always go buy more from the general store. I would recommend that over Jojo Mart um, due to it being lower priced. But the main problem is you need a lot of money in in order to get a lot of money out, and you won't have that on the first few days of the game. So later on, if you want to make cash, definitely do farming, invest your money in seeds to get more money, and then start making sprinklers to reduce the amount of work you have to do for it. But initially, the best way to make money I found was actually to do fishing. So if you fish down by the docks, your first few days are going to suck because you have no fishing skill and you're going to miss a lot of the fish. It's very tricky when you only have a small bit of the meter that you can actually reel the fish in on. But as your fishing skill develops, which can happen pretty quickly, you'll be able to catch some of the better fish. And a lot of the most valuable fish, like with foraging shells, happen to be down by the ocean. So, what you should do is you should plant your initial seeds, invest your initial money in buying more seeds, but aside from that, spend the rest of your day down by the docks fishing, and hopefully after a few days of frustration, you'll be able to catch some of those ocean fish, which can sell for hundreds of gold, and you can use that money in order to buy more seeds. So the TLDR of this video is that you should go to the docks, you should fish. If you see anything to forage along the way, go ahead and do that because it's really easy to grab. 
And then when you have a little bit of money, invest that in farming and worry about mining and combat later on. Eventually, you're going to do all five of them anyway to some degree, as you'll need special items for various characters and quests that you'll have to do throughout the game. But hopefully that gives you guys a good head start into Stardew Valley. So enjoy the game, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future videos.